All right, just for the record, just for the record before we begin, I can't believe GGG isn't selling this as a store item. Hello friends, I'm Nervire, and uh, today's video is going to be a little bit different, a little bit special. I've done single piece showcases in the past, but I've never done something with just like specifically focused on a 3D art. But I think this one deserves it well because, I mean, like, look at it. It's it's incredible. But I think this one deserves it just because there's like so much to love about the set. I mean, for one, it's free. Well, I mean, it's not free. It costs like, what was it? I bought this for like 4C back before the patch uh because i was hoping it had 3d art then and like six points for the skin transfer if you're not involved in like low life mana guardian memes but in, in addition to that like the amount of love and quality that was put into this armor like i can understand why this took a month after release this armor also represents the future of physics in path of exile and if you don't know what i'm talking about because you don't have one yet buy one and you'll see what i'm about to demonstrate before this armor everything in the game acted one of two ways either it was cloth-based physics or if it wasn't cloth-based physics it was no physics at all and everything operated by this very simple rule set um there's very few things that didn't like previous metallic armors like this bent in a very unnatural and rubbery manner however with ivory tower that is now a thing of the past metal solid metal plates attached to the armor move like solid metal plates should. This is incredible. This is 4.0, not 4.0, we don't call it 4.0. This is Path of Exile 2 tech. This is stuff that's going into like the 3D art of the game at the end of next year. And this is the first armor that demonstrates it. As you can see there, the pauldrons on the hips, the spalders on the hips, pauldrons on the shoulders, all move in a realistic and functional way. Not rubbery, not bendy, not not in a way that violates the laws of physics, but they move naturally and as a single harmonious piece. And the cloth itself is also very wonderfully flowing. Like there's so much to love here. In addition to the features the physics system is bringing us and the advancements there, and the design is just beautiful. This, this design echoes everything that has been popular in the last year as far as MTX goes, uh, like Sunspire, Sanctum, I, I mean, Irie not to extent not to the same extent with Irie, but you get the idea another design that i see echoed here is zenith now as you can see here you throw on zenith throw on ivory throw on zenith throw on ivory like they they echo the same like kind of aesthetic in a way that i would feel like they're the same faction but different roles you know what i'm saying zenith is more practical and armored ivory is more of a regal garb but it's still very practical so lots to love there and that's on actually segue into combos by the way that's like the first thing i want to talk about when it comes to combos is like what are the go-to's for this because there's no gloves there's no boots um that are really white as far as 3d items go there's inyas inyas exist but inyas have yellow tone over them and i don't actually have any on league so i can't show you but i don't recommend inyas however the zenith gear is amazing the zenith gear looks like it belongs here because again it shares so many aesthetic principles with zenith you can honestly just complete the combo there and call it good if you wanted. And it would look like it belongs. Like, it's just, it's just, oh my god. Oh my god, it's so good. It's so good. What the hell? But also, we want to take it a step further. Like, I want to see, I want to push this thing to, like, its absolute limit. I want to see what it's capable of. So, combos. So, the first combo I'll show you guys is kind of, kind of this simple, classy, blue tones type of thing. We use assassin on the hood, assassin on the back attachment. We use a zenith shield because blue. And we also use the illusionist weapon. This is... This is like where this thing starts to shine. Again, neutral armor, gold undertones. This thing is going to work with so much of your collection. Next up is the synthesis and the soul stealer gear because why not? It looks amazing. This is just going to be a theme. Like everything that everything that I, I throw this up against is going to look really good. We'll go ahead and swap out the uh, the synthesis brimmed hat for the actual soul stealer helm here so you can see what that looks like too. Yeah, that just that looks that looks spicy we're gonna lean into the holy vibes for a little bit here and try out some few different things this first up is like a full empyrean plus sun prism plus uh radiant character effect question mark yeah radiant character effect i don't know why the words escape me but but also like in addition to like the empyrean back attachment same same thematic you could also throw in like miracle matches nicely innocence matches nicely more innocence matches nicely or like I don't know. Sin and innocence matches nicely. Ah oh, man, there's so much you can do with this. I'm like, I'm like in heaven. I'm actually in heaven with this armor. Okay, I may have gotten a little enthusiastic, but my point still stands. Basically, this is the best armor in the game that they've ever made, or at least in a long time. This is as good as it gets. It's cutting edge. It's super clean. It matches with everything. Like, let's just let's just cue a montage of everything I can come up with in like 30 seconds.
Yep, that's... That's amazing. That's pretty good. Yep, that is also really, really good. Oh. A little weird, but I'll take it, question mark. This looks good, but this just makes me wish these wings had some kind of trailing. It's starting to look more and more paper to me every day. So yeah, I'm gonna call it there. I hope you guys enjoyed the showcase. Definitely pick one of these up. It's You've got nothing to lose. Just pay a few C for one. Throw it on and see what it can come up with because it's really, it's really quite cool. It's worth having in your collection and uh, I'd love to see what you guys can come up with. If you want to see any specific combos with it, I'm always available on like every platform you can imagine and uh, I'll be streaming on Twitch a bunch this weekend. So come say hi. See what's up. Thanks for watching.